You know, I've been thinking. Aside from the murder hornets, a global pandemic that is literally killing thousands of people, the stock market crashing, BLM protests, and I guess now forest fires, we still have one bleak beacon of light in 2020. And she goes by the name of Chizuru, the top wifey of twin- Wait, uh, what the- what the hell? What is that? Hey cameraman, could you zoom in a bit? Wait a sec. That's a conveniently placed broken like button that signifies how much my viewers love my trash content! But, uh, I mean that thing over there, on Chizuru's face. Yeah, that. What the f- A great prophet once said, If you ain't pimpin', you simpin'. <laughs> er, no, actually. <clears throat> it's, If you ain't Kirito, you simpin', bitch. Rent a Girlfriend, the only harem show that stands out from the rest of late 2020. Well, for me at least, I barely have time to watch anything new considering the world is literally burning down as we speak. Anyways, this show, or should I say this top grade waifu, is sadly dragged down to the dirt by a literal trash grade A simp that goes by the name of Kazuya. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen a lot of simps in their history of watching anime. A good example would be the Goro classic Brock from Pokemon. Little did we know that he was actually the first simp anyone was introduced to. But anyways, back to this guy. Kazuya is a 20-year-old run-of-the-mill virgin who's in college because, you know, to make this plot more unique instead of your typical virgin high school student, we gotta make this in a college atmosphere. Come on, people. But the thing is, the fact that he's in college and still acting like a grade-A trash simp makes him far worse than any other simping anime character in the history of anime simps. Oh yeah, he's a little fun game you can do while you watch this video. Take a shot every time I say the word simp because that's literally what this video is going to be about. Simp 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 Now come on, to give Kazuya a little bit of street cred, he clearly realizes his own simpness, if that's a word, and makes sure that the viewer is fully aware of this. But that's pretty much the only redeeming thing about this guy. I mean, I guess you could argue that he tries to do the right thing throughout the show, but I mean, come on. Really? He refuses to face a situation which I will explain in a bit, and drags the innocent wife of Jesus into his mess because he's too much of a wuss to actually do anything. Even when the greatest 2020 waifu of the year stands up for his simping ass, he still runs away because we can't have logic in anime. Come on guys, you should already know this! I suppose if you ignore all the stupid choices Kazuya makes, you can debate that this is the greatest harem of 2020, but that's just me. And this dude's ex. Oh my! This dude ex is literally the biggest bitch I have ever seen in TV anime, aside from that thought Mai from Shield Hero. That thought takes the number one, no doubt. Literally, this thought for whatever reason is trying to make Kazuya beg her back into his life. I I don't even know, fam. I think this thought has some sadist or fandom fetish or something. You tell me. I've only read like the first couple of chapters of the actual manga, so her motives are still unclear to me. But because of this thirsty simp renting out Chizuru and publicly announcing that she is her girlfriend to all of his friends, family, and his hospitalized grandma for God's sake, Chizuru now has to deal with his simping ass and all of his drama between him and his ex. Just to clarify, I ain't spoiling anything past episode 3 of the anime, even though I know what's going to happen since I read the manga. So you would think, Huh, well, couldn't he just tell everyone that he doesn't have a girlfriend or that they broke up? Well, you see, he could have if my sweet wife of 2020 didn't flat out cover his simping ass when she declared to be dating him in front of her and his grandma. Yes. Conveniently, both of their grandmas are hospitalized in the same hospital that so happens to be on the same hospital floor. Oh, and that's not even the end of that. It also happens that Chizuru lives right next to this boy and even goes to the same college as him. This is anime in 2020, people. If you're currently watching or reading this anime, you already know that this show is full of coincidence from the get-go. Honestly, I have no idea how some people can defend this guy. I mean, I guess Subaru from ReZero is just as bad of a simp as Kazuya. There's no finer, more divine pillow, divine pillow, divine pillow, divine pillow. Look, you're a simp. I'm gonna have to report you back to the simp police. But at least he's willing to die in order to save the people in his life, unlike this dude who can easily resolve all of his problems by just telling the truth. Like seriously, Kazuya, just say these words to your grandma. I'm sorry grandma, I lied. 
I don't have a girlfriend. I just so happens to rent one out because I'm a grade A honorary simp. At least then he'd redeem himself from being trash. The moment he actually stands up for himself without hesitating is the moment I will give him props and put him amongst the holy simps of simps. Maybe not up where my boy Subaru and Zenitsu are, but somewhere in the bottom. Maybe one of these days I'll actually make a top 5 simps in anime or something along those lines. Let me know in the comment section below! So because Chizuru is now stuck in the situation with Kazuya and has to pretend to be his girlfriend in front of their family, she pretty much has to deal with this constant bickering and complaining on a constant basis. Dude, I have no idea how Chizuru can stand that shit. Especially after publicly humiliating her in front of many while they were going on a rental date or whatever you call it. Kudos if you already know which episode I'm talking about. And you know what's even more weird about Kazuya? He apparently gets a boner from thinking about his ex getting hammered by some random stranger. I totally forget what this sort of fetish was called in Japan, but I think he might have that. But obviously he can't stay like this forever. At least, god I hope he doesn't. Please tell me he doesn't. I swear, if it's one of those shows where the main character doesn't get any character development and stays the same like Yuki from Mirai Nikki, who pretty much just stays a wuss throughout the series, mind you, I'm gonna be really pissed. For a show that has good waifu designs, this does not deserve such a cruel fate at all. But based on the opening of the show, I can tell there's going to be more girls that are going to be all over him because this is your typical harem anime show. Nothing new, really. I don't know what to say other than I guess we will see where the show slash manga takes us with the story of Rent-A-Girlfriend. Let's just hope he actually turns from a trash simp to a holy simp. Oh, and if you like good harem shows like Rent-A-Girlfriend, I highly suggest watching Quintessential Quintiplets, Shuffle, Love Hina, Ayori Yaoshi, Orin High School Host Club, and Nisekoi. If you guys have any other ham shows that you think are a must watch, please leave those beautiful suggestions in the comment section below. Cause I wouldn't mind some monkey brain shows to watch while I'm eating food. Anyways, thanks to John Michi for always being a great A Patreon supporter and everyone for sticking around for whatever reason you still do. For those who keep asking for more Yandere stories, don't worry fam, they coming, they coming. I want to focus a lot of my efforts into doing other things that I love like these kinds of videos. I hope you guys understand and keep supporting me regardless of the content I put out. I appreciate everyone and please have a wonderful week. Peace!